Hello traders, today I want to talk about order blocks or breaker blocks and if these concepts with their assumptions are really needed and useful. As an illustration of my opinion I want to use this video from TraderWax what is an ICT breaker block and to make it clear I don't want to portray this YouTuber or his video as bad. I like his short concise videos and the way he presents his content, I just see certain things differently now that's all. In this he presents an order block that fails, this means he expected that price comes into this area here, then closes somewhere inside and then he would like to join the continuation of the downtrend. And after it failed, this means the price was closing above the box, the area becomes a kind of support and then it is called a breaker block and we can trade to the upside. I will point out in this video that everything we see and that happens in this setup can be explained in a more simple and accurate way using support and resistance. I call it PSR, which is short for precise support and resistance. Now why this new term, is support and resistance not good enough? No, but most of the time you see it taught and presented incorrectly. You see it in trading books, videos, the guys are drawing boxes for support and resistance as if it was an area, or they're marking wicks as levels, but this is totally wrong. A level of support or resistance is always at the closing price. This level can be tested then, which you see here by this wick, and if price is closing, for example, below a level of support on the same time frame, then we lost this support. The same is true for resistance, when we are closing above it, we gain support. Okay, these are the principles. Now let me go back to the example. This is the 50 minutes chart on the S&P 500, where TraderWax was marking his order block like that and assumes that when price comes into this area and rejects that he could trade to the downside. Well, besides that, let me show you how you can use PSR to not go short in this setup. For example, when I do a little bit of multi-time frame analysis and go to, let's say, a 4-hour time frame, then switch to a line chart where I see the closing prices and mark this level of support, which is exactly the point on the 15 minutes where price finds this level of support because it is going to the upside. Well, this fact and the obvious uptrend on the 4-hour time frame are not the best indications for a short trade. But that's another story and shall be told another time. Okay, so let's go back to the 15 minutes time frame to our setup and see what happened. Of course you can call it now the order block has failed, but I think it is easier to see that this level of resistance is broken. Now comes the next assumption, the area is regarded now as a breaker block and price is closing here at 50% of this area. I'm pretty sure that price is not closing at percentages of areas, but anyway we don't need it because we have a level of support here and we see that price is precisely respecting it and not closing below. No area needed here, no percentage with PSR, we just have precise levels. Then this candle here is going to the upside, again breaking a level of resistance. And what you can see as well, that it is testing this level of support. Look at this, this is PSR, this is precise. Based on these principles you can define trading strategies and systems and I'm working on this at the moment. I'm not the inventor of this concept. For example, Trader Sumo is teaching it in his videos or his course for years. He also has an indicator called Polytrends that is drawing precise support and resistance levels and trends. The links can be found in the description below. Another one that I found is Mindject. He has a tutorial in which he is drawing levels of support and resistance of higher timeframes. Videos linked in the description. And last but not least, I want to mention Conquer FX. I really liked his video, the truth about smart money concepts can also be found in the description below. As I said, at the moment I'm working on a system based on PSR, in which at least two timeframes are used, a master timeframe and an execution timeframe. The master can be daily, 4 hour or 1 hour timeframe, depends if you're doing swing trading, day trading or scalping. I have a new setup with everything I need to create the system and see it in action. Before I make a video about it, I will backtest this system and then I will bring it to the Discord and we can discuss it in the TG member areas. You can join us as a TG member either by clicking the join button here on my YouTube channel. And another option that we have now is my Patreon trading guide. You find the link in the description, same benefits, same price. Having that said guys, let me tell you that if you need a good broker with low spreads and low commissions, you can use 
Hanko Trade. They have spreads as low as zero pips. It is very easy to register. You can go to their website, register, you don't need KYC documents and start trading. Link is in the description. Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, then please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I highly recommend to join our Discord, become a TG member and trade with us. Also follow me on my Twitter where I'm sharing trading ideas and I'll see you in the next one here on the Trading Guide.